I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Pharaoh, the Cleopatra expansion that I never actually thought I would come back and do. Uh, but I now have all of the Impression City Builder games, thanks to GOG.com, and uh, I figure that I guess I'll just go ahead and do them all. So uh, I decided to choose this one because a game came out recently. Uh, it's called Builders of Egypt, I think. And I tried the demo of that, and I was not terribly impressed. I think the game still needs a lot of work. So, in the meantime, I guess, uh, just play this and uh, scratch that itch for ancient Egyptian things. However, uh, trying to get this game running because, holy crap, on a Windows 10 system, this is very difficult to get going and recording. I had to do a lot of finagling. But anyway, uh, whilst going through this, uh, I, I did start to remind myself as to why I dislike this game and uh, why I never wanted to play it again, but uh, we'll go ahead and give this a shot. Might be a crapshoot, I don't know. I've never played the Cleopatra expansion, so this will be new for all of us. Well, it'll be new for me. Maybe not for you. Um, we're gonna have to choose a mission. First thing that started annoying me was that trying to go through the family history, um, you have to unlock all of it by actually going through it, and thank God for cheat codes because I didn't want to do that, but um, when I did that, it didn't unlock the new Cleopatra stuff. So by choosing the mission, I'm not sure if I needed to do that first to unlock these or what, but anyway, here we are. Um, also, before I forget, the game does not appreciate uh, the volume controls that you choose. So you, I had to externally lower the volume, but here we go. Valley of the Kings. Grand as they are, the pyramids of your ancestors have eroded over the centuries. The tombs within have been desecrated, and the hidden treasures pilfered by robbers, whom the gods will surely punish throughout eternity. You will forego pyramids, and let's turn that down just a little bit, because I got a little bit ahead of myself there, and start a new necropolis in the hard-to-reach Wadi across from Thebes, digging tombs into the cliffs to create a Valley of the Kings, safe from robbers, or is it? After many brilliant victories on distant battlefields defending the lands and people of Egypt, Pharaoh Totmoth, as all must eventually, has turned his thoughts to preparations for his travel into the afterlife. To ensure that this journey is successful, Pharaoh wishes you to begin construction of his tomb at your earliest convenience. Establish a village on the west bank of the Nile to provide a pool of capable workers. Locate a suitable site for his tomb in the cliffs to the west of the village. You will need skilled stonemasons to cut the tomb's many chambers from the rock, and talented artisans to plaster and paint the rooms. To provide light for the workers laboring in the far recesses of the tomb, you will need to establish lamp maker shops. Supply the lamp maker with pottery and imported oil for the fuel. Plant fields of henna to provide a source of dye for brilliant colors the paint makers will need. Alright, I don't know if you could hear that or not. Uh, it was kind of quiet for me as well. I may re have, have to readjust the uh, the sound. So, right away, uh, lamp makers and henna. I see some of the new things. Okay. Well, that looks like a landing point. Stone that I'm not sure I can even get to. How... How am I supposed to get up there? Am I supposed to get up there? It's just cliffs. Okay. Now, uh, boy, I honestly can't remember where I find all my stuff, like my objectives and whatnot. This tells me what I need. I guess this, I guess that's all it was. It was just that. Oh, wait, can I do a question mark here? Oh. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, you can also not uh, build while it's paused, for some reason, as I apparently forgot. So we're going to have to build a, a crossing here. And what would that be, under government services? A ferry landing, yes, okay. But I also need a trade post, right? Dock, so... Oh, okay, I'll have plenty of room here. So I guess I'll put the dock there, and then we'll just have the water crossing go. Yes, we have to 
get it going and we'll lower the speed down so I'm not unnecessarily spending my time. Now I don't recall if these can be left alone. I feel like they can, but that might be misremembering. Um, so this this dock, how big is that comparatively? Okay, so it does have a road issue, which means that the road will have to run along here to be able to touch them both. Okay. So, ooh, scorpions, this is a new thing. So we probably don't want to be over there, which is fine. Um, right, and I do need to be near some green in order for my... Okay, they've got reeds up there. Uh, in order for the water bearers to go, I need them to be in the green. So I could start a little village over here, just a little worker's spot. I guess I could do that, actually. So why don't we do that? Let's do a roadblock here. And just initially, we'll start out with some housing. Do not remember how far they can go. But... Some plants are too... Oh, yes, I know. I think they can probably do a 12. It seems to be pretty standard. Uh, we will also do roadblock here and roadblock here. And we'll go ahead and get a water supply ready. And what else do we need? I know we need an architect post. Now, I probably don't necessarily... I don't know. Something tells me... Where are my... Nope, 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 nope. What are my overlays? Where are the overlays? Overlays. Uh, risks. Risk. Oh, fucking sake. Fire. Okay. Well, it is entirely probable and possible that that will be uh, something I need to watch. But for now, let's just go ahead and let it go. Um, and we'll just go ahead and put down... Where do I want to put these? They never fit very well. I guess I could put them in... Ah, uh, no, because they don't like it, do they? These guys put off bad vibes. So they don't really like being right next door to them. And they do diagonals, I think. There's so much I've forgotten about this game. Oh well. We'll just put that down for now. We will, uh... I'm new here. I wonder what the city will offer to a person like me. Okay, one, two down, so that's 80% there. We'll do 70%. Uh, apparently we still need workers for some inconceivable reason. And this game has that weird mechanic where the houses build together. I like living here, but if I were running the town, I'd do something... Okay, people are now out of work, so now it is time to... Aha, uh -huh, yes. This guy has to be here to see the workers. I don't actually want to pause that. So we can't do, do that at least. Um, so we need food, obviously. Uh, what kind of food options do we have? We have farms and irrigation ditches, of course. Is that my only food? Yes, I think it is. So we need to lower this down, and we're going to now need to build a small hut over here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need an architect post and a firehouse. Uh, how about not there, though, because I think I need, what is it, the work camp? There you go. And these guys probably don't need to go very far up, so why don't we plop that like so. And then we can do a farm. Let's start out with chickpeas. Uh, how did this go? They have to be next to a road. And in fact, looking at it now, it probably would serve me better. Let's actually send them down this way. Uh, what else do we have? 
flax. That's not food. Okay. So the weird... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Damn, where is the, uh... That. We'll get rid of that. Is that a good idea, though? Just trying to lay these out. This is always one of the more aggravating parts, trying to get this to be optimal. I don't think I can do it here. We're going to be off by one somewhere. Oh, no, actually, that will. That is very interesting. We'll be off by one, but I can start making straight rows here. Right? I think that's too many. I don't recall there being a penalty for having too many. Well, we can... okay. Because it, it, the amount of people that go are based upon, obviously, how many people they can find through the work camp. Now, this is all kinds of screwed up. Um, right, so they need to actually be connected here. And we don't actually need them wandering off that way. Now let me check on this dock real quick. Okay, none of this is going to work out. Well, that is not ideal, I admit, but because this is immediately going to cause me some issues with housing. Oh, and right, and they also need a well because of the sickness and health thing. Actually, if I'm just going to do that, then let's just go ahead and do that and eliminate that, and then I can have myself a road that goes off into that field. And I still have space to put a few here if I need them. So that'll work too. In fact, If I took the well, well, I don't know. Just let that go. Okay, not not so good. Um, we're now in inundation. This is also not so good. How am I going to deal with the scorpions? This is my own fault for putting them over here, by the way. Uh, is it police? Police station might do the trick. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the music. Um, now, I do want to save myself, because I remember there are also those really annoying bandstands that are hard to place into corners. So how do I want to deal with that? Let's put that there. Uh, we'll just see if the, uh, the police officer is enough to do it. Constable. All right, they've got all the labor they need. So where are we actually at with uh, employment? Shit ton of unemployed. So we need to find things for them to do, obviously. Um, well, we're going to need a granary right away. Uh, I guess I can put that over here. Yeah, why not? And then need a, need a bazaar. We'll go ahead and... I really should probably... It would behoove me to make it closer. So I'll just kind of do that. And then I can do some beautification stuff. Um, I don't necessarily know that I need to be doing that right now. We do have to think about... tax collection as well. Okay. Well, here's our first test. Come on. 
What the hell? Oh, you bastard. Oh, 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 what the shit? Okay, this isn't working out for me. However, this is the correct... correct yeah, that's really going to hurt me here. Uh, this is the correct uh, amount of space for them to go. Come on, just get a scorpion, for crying out loud. I'm seriously going to have to build a wall here in a minute. Okay, well anyway. Are we farming yet? We are getting some guys out there farming. Right, fertility is not so good up here, and you can kind of tell, visually, that that is the case. It's alright, I suppose. I'm going to have to do something about this. This is not... If I move that up to here... I could still bring in a road this way. I'm just trying to find a way to get a road this way, because if I put something down, this is going to be staggered, and it's really going to be annoying. Um, where are we at still? 34%. Okay, what else do we need? We need scorpion killers, apparently. Um, I mean, getting towards this goal, I have no freaking clue. Uh, we can start sending gifts and all that. I do... well... Let's, maybe I should put down a a thing after all. Because um, you know, it does say monument needed. Remember to construct, to instruct the overseer of monuments, which is this guy. We need beer, linen, gems, goods, and a small burial tomb. Let's lower this down. Because now I need to find where that is. Monument. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. In fact, um, I see that I, I don't know if I'm ever going to have to come back here. Why? Aha. Aha. Okay. But now the question is why can't I. I apologize if this is frustrating for you, it's frustrating for me, because now I need to know why I can't build the entrance. I need to find the perfect spot where the... See, the entrance is good there, but not good there. Is there even a spot like that? Uh, why is there no rotate? I, how do you even... Must be built entirely over cliffs, and the entranceway must be clear. Where... really? Oh, holy crap. So there's one spot, which is nonsense. Can we really not destroy any of that? God, that's annoying. So there's one spot the game chose to have this tomb built. It makes me wonder though, uh, because we are building the Valley of the Kings, we are building a complex, if the game is going to have me come back here, or if we can just go throughout the valley. Because if we have to come back here, that's really going to change how uh, things are done. God, that would be perfect! Just one freaking little thing is in the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's gotta be. Which is really annoying, because if you look at that mini-map, that is an ugly, ugly little pass that I'm going to have to dig into. Very inconvenient for me. Which I realize it's meant to deter the tomb robbers, but... Oh boy. Okay. Well, I guess... Uh... Uh, how do you rotate again? Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to assume that this was the designated spot and there is no other place to go, so I won't worry too much about that. I just want to find a, a roadway. 
can get rid of that. Ah, uh, how I miss <laughs> so many of the things in game design that have come along in all the time since this game. Things like being able to hide terrain. Uh, let's just do kind of a... I guess that's where we go. Alright, so now does this pleasingly line up with anything? Because it doesn't, doesn't seem like it probably does. And that is a ways away. Okay, but there is a, an area right here. Now, there is prosperity rating. Rather high, in fact. So... Maybe I should just bring it up here. Build one in so we'll have like an outer road and then a city here. So I can designate a few areas here. In fact, maybe I want that rather than this. Maybe I don't need this. Maybe I'm better off building a neighborhood up here. The, oh, that's the thing about this game, though, isn't it? That you end up building a lot of neighborhoods, especially because of the way the buildings are, are constructed, like the bazaar. You don't share uh, the things like you do in Zeus and Emperor so much. Uh, and then we can build another granary up here to have them move. I mean, there there is... We should never be hard up for food, so I'm not worried about that. And I guess I can have them... I mean, it doesn't matter that they're close to that, because that's not how that works. You use these work camps to get your designated people to where they need to go. But we will eventually need the reeds. Um, I don't know what the chariot... That I think that's going to be something we're going to import. Uh... We're going to have to do that with the beer, because I've only got flax, so we're only getting linen. Um, henna for color for paint. That has to be for this, though. 2% uh, complete needs lamps right away. Artisans and masons refuse to set foot in the dark burial chamber without lamps. Right. So that's the first thing I guess we need to head towards. So how do we do that? Lamp maker... I'm going to have to look at some of this stuff up, obviously, uh, so I can refresh myself on the stuff that is from the original game, as well as get myself spun up on all of the new tech trees and whatnot. You really don't realize how unfertile that area is just there on the edge, so I should probably, in future, after the inundation, just move them all down here. I don't remember what the message said. Uh, Osiris will be benevolent. Oh, Krappenheim. Yes, that, too. We gotta do... We gotta deal with these bastards holding a new festival to all these guys. Until we build a temple, though, we don't really have to worry about it. Bast will be good, though. Bast will help with early population. Ta will help with the construction. Osiris will be good for inundation. This is actually a pretty good set of deities for the city. Okay, well... Stretch my legs a little bit, and my brain muscles, so I think... I kind of have an idea now what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm going to have to look at those new tech trees uh, and get us going a little bit. We have plenty of people, and just in this little neighborhood right down here, this little workers' neighborhood, uh, we should be able to have quite the population, even at just this level. What do we need next? Uh, just food. So, I mean, I, th I think I'll, I'll have plenty just from this neighborhood to, to make a good workforce initially, and I'm suspecting that this is going to be uh, quite a quite a large thing to do. One thing I need to make sure I do this, this playthrough, that I tend not to do in these games, is I need to just build massively. Um, because in the previous series when I was doing the Pharaoh and the Zeus, they took forever, mostly because I was minimal minimalist about it, which uh, is a, a terrible habit of mine, but... Anyway, uh, I think that's probably enough for this first episode. If you can figure out for me why I can't use the widescreen mod, I would appreciate that. And I will end this one here, and I will see you next time.